What's up guys and girls, it's EP with Styles of Life. I'm out here in Vegas, it's my last day here. So I figured I'ma do a vlog for a day. I ended up solo double this time. I don't even know how. I was with the squad for my homie's birthday, but I ended up getting a room. We we got we checked into a room at like six in the morning this morning, thinking we had to check out at 10 a.m., which is like four hours. And I'm asking like how much is another night because it was like a good deal. And it ended up being we still have another night here because we never actually spent the night. You know what I mean? So. I'm going to go on an adventure today, guys. And first things first, I'm going to New York, New York to try out Shake Shack. I've been hearing big big things about it. Moving to New York soon, so I want to get a taste of New York. So I'm going right there, guys. Boom. Yo, like, check this out, though. I'm so hurt. My jacket. I don't know if you see this, but this belt loop. Fell off. Ready, now my, my thing's dangling super long behind my back. But it's all good. I'm in Vegas right now, yo. Like, look around, guys. This is awesome. Now, I've always wanted to try Shake Shack, so I'm really excited right now. I've never had it before, so it's gonna be super awesome. I already know it. Based on all the reviews and all the videos on YouTube that I see for Shake Shack, it's like way better than a in and out in terms of moistness, juiciness level. And I'm gonna have to taste out for myself. I'm gonna see for myself how good it is. So I'm gonna catch you guys in Shake Shack. As you guys see, I'm in like New York, New York's version of Central Park. It's not really that big, but you know, it's got good vibes here. I love it. I love it so much, guys. Got the water right here. Buildings up there. No, it's popping here, so you know it's good. As you guys can see, it's super packed here. Like outside is all packed, inside is gonna be a line. So that means it's really good. I'm super excited to try it. I'm excited to take you guys on this journey with me and to see my reaction on my first time eating Shake Shack. So let's let's stop waiting. Let's, what, what more is there to talk about? Let's go out and let's go get some food. Let's go. I just got my order from Shake Shack. I'm so excited to try this out. Super excited, guys. Uh, and I'm happy that you guys get to experience this with me. Yo, and for all of you that are new to the channel, Hit the like button for me, at least if not for me, for the sake of humanity because liking things is very important compared to disliking things because liking is positive and dislike is negative. And I want all y'all to be positive. I want all of us to be positive so we can make positive grow. So let's get to this food. Woo! Been hearing so much about Shake Shack and I'm so happy that I get to try this. Honestly, I thought that the first time I'd ever get an opportunity to try Shake Shack would be when I moved to New York. Sorely was I mistaken because there's a Shake Shack here at the New York, New York Hotel Resort in Las Vegas. Here is the food guys, check it out. I just got a little burger, like a single patty burger. Just wanted to try it out because I'm fat already so I didn't want to get a double. I was considering it, but I did get the cheese and bacon fries guys. The Cayman sauces guys. Fries are crinkle cut. They're known for their crinkle cut fries. 
Um, we got the bacon cheese fries, so I mean, low key kind of wanted to just throw some of the bacon onto the burger. Um, I mean, I mean, nothing wrong with some cheese sauce. Ah. All right, for me personally, I always go for the fries first to warm up my mouth. I didn't say that, but uh, let's see what's the. <laughs> Wow, the fries are actually really good. Because personally, I don't like crinkle cut fries. Because I always think of it, whenever I see Shake Shack, I would hate on them for having crinkle cut fries because I would always think, like, yo, that just tastes like uh, the fries you get from the frozen section in, the, in Walmart or grocery store. And I mean, those weren't bad fries, but like the shoestring fries always tasted better. But this ain't bad at all. It has good texture and you can actually like uh, taste the freshness in the potato. Mm. Mm. Mm, the bacon's good too. Cheese sauce is not like the cheese sauce from Taco Bell. It's more of like a... Wow, I actually really like these fries. It's actually really good texture. This is probably the best crinkle cut fries I've ever had in my life. Good job, Jack Jack. So let's see what all the, the rave is about. The bread is like potato bread. It is juicy. But I can't even talk anymore. Let's get into this, guys. Mm. Wow. I got a shake too. I was at Shake Shack and I had to get a shake. Wow. I got your fire. It's juicy. One of the juiciest burgers I've ever had in terms of like a fast food joint. Um, the bread is really moist, soft, but it still holds texture. Like, you know, it's bread, it's not like soggy. It's like the bread is really good. Mm -hmm. The bread is really good. It's not soggy. The bread is almost like whenever you get a McDouble from McDonald's and the bread is kind of fresh, that's kind of what it tastes like, but with some potato, like potato bread though. The meat's fresh. It's good flavor. Compared to In-N-Out, I would be fine with eating In-N-Out and then eating Shake Shack the next day, which I did. I ate In-N-Out like two days ago when I got here, and now I'm getting Shake Shack. I think in comparison, most people say Shake Shack's better than In-N-Out. Um, I mean, I'm from the West Coast, so I'm a die-hard In-N-Out fan. These fries are way better than In-N-Out, though, and the cheese sauce and the bacon, I cannot complain about that. But as far as the burger goes, I think In-N-Out has a distinct flavor. This, the Shake Shack flavor, the burger and the, the flavor in this burger at Shake Shack, it can be replicated, like, in terms of, uh, if you go to like a diner, or like, um, like local burger spots, local fast food burger spots, like the one I think of is like Arctic Circle in Salem, Oregon, and it closed down, <laughs> but the burger is just similar to this. So I'm gonna do a scale system. I'm gonna rank this burger on a one to ten scale. Dang, I don't know what a ten would be though, because it's been I don't know where the best burgers and my favorite food, one of my favorite foods is a burger. I love all burgers. Like I, I I don't even judge. Like I'll eat a McDouble and I'll love it, and I'll eat like a Red Robin burger, I'll love it, or I'll go in and out and I'll love it. Also on top of that, like I just love burgers, like all burgers, expensive burgers, cheap burgers. I've never had a bad burger. Even when it's dry or whatever, like it's still not as good as a tasty burger, but I still love it. The sauce in this is not as good as in and out which is, uh... yeah, the sauce. The sauce in this, it's kind of tangy. 
But wow, the meat is really good. But price point level, in and out is bad in Shake Shack. Because this bacon cheese fries, this burger, single patty burger, a shake burger, right? Jack burger. And this milkshake cost me a total of like 18 bucks after tax. You go to in and out, you get a shake, you get a like a double double burger, animal style. You get some animal style fries with the sauce and the caramelized onions. And that will cost me less than like 10, 12 bucks, you know, like after tax even. So in terms of price point, like I'm all about my price points. So I'm gonna scale Shake Shack in terms of one to 10 um, factors. I'm gonna do, uh, all right. One to 10, I'd say Shake Shack's like a five. in and out would be like a six, you know? And like Red Robin's like an eight in terms of burgers, taste, price, price point, so like pound for pound, are you getting your dollars worth? Um, if you ask me if I wanna go Shake Shack in and out to get some quick food, a bite to eat, I would choose in and out but I would not decline an offer or an opportunity to go to Shake Shack. Now that I've tried this, I don't think I'm gonna eat Shake Shack a lot when I go to, when I move to New York because I don't know, this doesn't look like something that I would crave, especially for the price. There's so many better things you can get for this price. 18 bucks, you can get like a whole pizza, you know? Even though I like burgers more than pizzas, but it's like, this is expensive. Mm. But by golly, is this good though? So yeah, five out of 10, five out of 10. Um, definitely solid, solid five. A hard five. I'm gonna uh, close it out here, finish this burger, enjoy my meal here, and catch you guys next time. If you like my video today, guys, please click like, click subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite burger spot is, and yeah, let me know in the comment section what your favorite burger spot is. And hopefully I get a chance to try it out and make a video for you guys. Until next time, guys. Bye.